I'm mum to uh, two boys. I've got a 17-year-old and David, who is 15. Uh, myself and my husband both work full-time for an agency of the Scottish Government. It keeps us nice and busy. And it's been particularly challenging, obviously, over COVID, trying to juggle. It always is difficult trying to juggle um, work and home, but it's especially so now, given that David's been at home the vast majority of the time. Pre-COVID, David was always a very a busy boy. He would keep our diary very full. And obviously, he's 15, so he goes to school. And that would be him Monday to Friday, but school and after school. He also goes to, normally would go to Disabled Scouts. He plays boccia. He goes to Sense at the weekend. So virtually every day, there was something for David. So very busy, very social, sociable life for him. And then COVID comes along and we go into lockdown. And David's obviously shielding, so he's off school and all of his activities stopped and our respite at the start completely stopped so we went from quite a bit of support to absolutely nothing and David uses respite is good for us but it's also social interaction for David so for that to just all disappear it was absolutely horrendous. David just loves music um a lot of our, our families do but David comes alive with music it's probably the best way to describe it David's got um, cerebral palsy and is severely impacted just about in every way possible by his cerebral palsy. And he has a hearing impairment and visual impairment. He's actually registered blind. So he, he can't necessarily see a lot of things or hear everything as well. But from a very young age, he has always liked, I think the loud music is what he could hear best. So that's why bagpipes, Scottish music and bagpipes, he's always loved. I think the Zoom sessions have been particularly good for him to have a focal point for the day. I mean, it's a long day when you're looking after a child with severe and complex needs. And with no school, no nothing, it's good to have even just one session to say, today you've got your Zoom session, you're going to do some music. And he loves it. And afterwards, he benefits absolutely from it. I've seen, I think, through the whole lockdown, just with what we've done with him virtually, what, how much he benefits from mm -hmm. it. It just made such a difference to him to have, even just to see another face, because at the end of the day, he's a teenager. And who, doesn't, who wants to spend all of their time as a teenager with their mum and dad? It's not, not the best thing. And other members of the team have been told that that's helped David. Like, um, it's made him brighter for the rest of the day because he's had that interaction. And David will smile. As soon as music's on, he'll smile. Sometimes David turns his head to the side and maybe looks over in one direction. And actually, because his hearing is better in one ear, that probably means that he's really engaging with it. Some pe people maybe think he's bored and he's looking away, but actually he's really listening to what's going on. And when you know when David fully immersed in music actually when he starts to move his hands he almost conducts the music and it's just beautiful to watch and to see that reaction. Because we were I was there and actually David's key worker Joan was there for the last one as well um, <coughs> we were able to um, like interact and throw in comments and get that head up and what are you doing and look at those legs and oh Kieran's laughing as well and or and whoever else was on screen that helped make it more like you were in the front room with them and at more of a in-person event so that definitely helped. I think one of the big benefits has been being able to give a playlist ahead of time and to say some of the things that he likes because then when someone plays music that he knows he likes I think he then gets that the person has an interest in him cares about him and his interests and I think that's a positive thing for him. After we've done a, a a Zoom session with David to do with music the one thing is that we can actually talk it's something to talk about and say did you enjoy it and he'll always indicate that he, he enjoyed it. David in, in terms of communication answers yes or no depending on if you give him a hand yes or no and he'll pick which hand is the, the correct answer and with music he always will say he enjoyed the session loved it. Um, maybe we'll talk about the maybe the songs that were played and um He's also, it sometimes tires him out a wee bit because obviously he's interacting with it. So that's that's a positive thing as well. I think what COVID has, has made us realise is that your mental health is so important. And I think through this, I hadn't realised how much our young people are have been impacted by it. It's, a, it's difficult for us in normal times for today, David, to concerts and so on. And we're very limited in terms of access and limited in terms of price often as well. Um, so it's... it's to do it this way um, through some Zoom sessions, do it virtually is just a fantastic way for David to engage with something that he loves. But um, I, I see the benefit it has for David and I would hate to think there's anyone out there who 
can't access it, it would be such a shame. 